The director was getting annoyed. The AIs were aware that unanswered questions would result in long and unnecessarily philosophical conversations, so they were looking for results, and quickly. Sir, we have found a dark space anomaly. A single world from the swarm wars that never surrendered and never contacted us. A ghost. The director turned to the screen. He wasn't aware of it, but he whistled. We have a queen out there, old school. It's been a long time. He turned to the avatar. That war had a lot of ghosts. So have they decided to start the war again, or do they just dislike engineers? The avatar shrugged. Sir, we found a bit of space that we never bothered to check before. We killed its fleets, never heard from it again. It was a long time ago. The avatar waved at the screen. The smallest of small fry, we assumed it died on one of the ships or the nanotech turned it into a minor player. We sent all our fleets out to play somewhere else, if you recall. The director stood and nodded vaguely. So why steal an engineer? Is this the true dark space of a couple of hundred years of swarm revenge building up? Are we facing a fleet? You keep telling me things, and I know less each time. Find out. He dismissed the avatar and stared at the map, lost in time. A queen, still out there. How extraordinary. Perhaps not all the sins of humanity would remain unforgiven. He began making calls. Alice stepped out of the cubicle alone, without the chains and with her head held high. Before the creepy dude in the dress had a chance to speak, she began, Your staff suck. Never interrupt a woman in the bathroom. Now, I believe you mentioned food. She walked back to the table and sat down. The cardinal watched as one of his guards pushed his way into the bathroom and checked. He watched as his man stepped back slowly and shook his head. The cardinal sat down. Was that necessary? Alice smiled. I don't know. Perhaps he should have thought about that before shooting me. I hate to bring it up again, but you mentioned food. I tend to get angry if I haven't eaten. The cardinal hesitated. His options opened in front of him, none showing him in a particularly good light. His priest had tried to intimidate the human, and it had cost him his life. Three guards were dead under his orders, and he could sense the fear from the rest. He thought they had chosen a peaceful and helpless human, a female and from a trading ship. They had paid heavily to find the most biddable human near their space, and yet it killed without regret. Perhaps she truly was one of the peaceful ones. Is this where they earn their reputation? It sat there, indifferent to the weapons pointed at her, and demanded food as if she wasn't filling his med bay with corpses. What were these creatures? It sat there as if it hadn't killed a man mere minutes ago. He managed a sort of smile. Of course, we felt you would be more comfortable with human food, so we recovered examples from your ship. I believe you call them MREs? My people have followed the instructions religiously. Alice figured this was a cheap shot, so she took it. Really? Your people must know how to cook. I'd prefer we shared a meal. Our MREs are for, to be honest, combat or starvation stuff. Nothing I would expect from a host as well-dressed and important as you. In the cardinal's mind, he heard the laugh. Feeder, I will instruct the chefs. I'm providing alcohol for the human. It is toxic to you. Do not drink it. I am already irritated at the cost of this dinner. Prepare her for my arrival. Eat at every opportunity, but change the menu if you can. Xenos tend to fuck up drugging us. That's fine until they feed you a cup of cyanide because they overestimate us. Eat their food unless they are obviously taking the piss. If it's still moving, kill it and steal the knife. If you have to, remember that you can live a long time without food. Eat the Xenos if you have no choice. Live and keep living. We'll sort out the rest. The Cardinal found himself stuck. The MREs were combat food? That didn't sound helpful. The drugs he had carefully added might send the human into a frenzy instead of keeping it calm. He was happy to leave this one to the queen. He smiled properly, not realizing that it unsettled Alice more than his sullen fear had done. Of course, my queen is arranging food for us now. She has excellent taste. Alice looked around at the dull gray walls and the empty table, only a raised eyebrow showing her opinion of that statement. I'm looking forward to it. The XCC was humming along in its usual frenzy when the call arrived. The AI didn't hesitate and pushed it straight to the director's office. Incoming from Intel Engineering regarding the missing civilian, he's going to want to hear this. Intel Engineering Preliminary Studies. The spectrum results from the destroyed ships are non-standard on all current tech. 
we estimate inferior at all levels. We believe, see graph Q through Y, tech development is swarm isolate and poses no threat to fleet. Species identified as the Boran, last recorded queen, current designation unknown. Intel indicated all swarm fleets lost, no further contact established. Deep edge space until recently and currently experiencing major incursions as new trade routes, see map above, have developed. Probable motivation for abduction. Intel on recent spatial activity slash intention of combating same. We estimate that the engineer will be subject to hostile interrogation and termination. Engineer is graded level 3 Intel risk. Intel Engineering XCC only. The director put down the document, watching as it flared into nothing. He looked at the avatar. You see, this is why you need to keep an eye on these things out there. They are right about so much, then they drop the ball. Intel on spatial activity? Turn on comms somewhere, you don't need to be pissing me off. This isn't just about the fact that suddenly the galaxy is back on their doorstep. This is something else, and it's not war. Their queen is panicking, and this is part of it. Tell the fleet to stand down. I know exactly who to send. He punched up a few numbers. Tell the gratitude I have a job for her. It seemed only fitting to send the first true human AI to meet the last true swarm queen. Alice was quite enjoying the food, sort of a spicy salad with a broth on the side. She wondered if this species was truly vegetarian or just reluctant to feed the scary human meat. She made polite conversation for a moment, but the fancy dress dude kept glancing at a door, obviously waiting for something. She had refused to remember his name or title, and she could see that it was bugging the hell out of him, which, if she was being honest, was the whole point, and he knew that. So, anyway, here I am. You got yourself a human engineer. I mean, you could have just hired me, or preferably someone else, but here I am, so what do you want? The cardinal wasn't prepared for the sheer oddness of dealing with a creature that wasn't linked to him, where every comment was an exhausting surprise. He was beginning to think he had been a poor choice for this position as he tried to answer her comments and avoid her questions. He stalled as well as he could, waiting for the queen to arrive. I cannot tell you that it is known only to the queen. She will be here shortly and may be willing to help you on that. Whatever Alice was expecting to walk through the door, it wasn't what she saw. It was ancient, a walking history lesson from mankind's early days in space, an avatar that was so old that she hadn't seen one outside of a textbook, not even a textbook, a school book. What the fuck was a human tech antique doing out here? The cardinal stood and bowed deeply, ignoring the astonishment of the human. The guards moved to a formal salute and filed out of the room. My queen, the human as you commanded. May I withdraw? The avatar looked at Alice. That is up to the human. I imagine she has worked out several ways to kill you by now since it never occurred to you to search her. I must work on our security training. Alice stood and nodded. I thought it would be rude. I would definitely have killed him if he had tried to search me, though, so sort of a win for him. Who are you exactly? The cardinal fled the room, trying not to lose his lunch. He did lose whatever rags of dignity he had left as he ran.